It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joining me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. I'm Brian Anderson, along with reporter Allie LaForce. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for Jonas Valanciunas. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans' starting lineup. Ingram and Zion, your small and power forwards. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Washington, Jones and Poole teaming up in the backcourt. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. And it's Avdia in at the three. Still very early in the regular season. But Grant, what's the most important thing coaches are working on at this stage? You know, at this point, it's all about really just getting your rotation set. Finding which guys work best together. You know, you have to figure out how go. to maximize the talent you have. Tip-off goes to New Orleans. Jones against Poole. Pass to Valanciunas. Now McCollum. Outside Jones. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Valanciunas getting rewarded there for putting down a solid screen on the pick and roll. On the wing, Kuzma. Poole outside. Oh, he tries a three. Valanciunas with a rebound. And it's Williamson with a ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to McCollum. Knocked loose. Stolen by Gafford. Jones, the pass to Kuzma. It's Avdia on the wing. Outside Jones. Here's Kuzma. Four on the clock. Poole with the ball from outside the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Poole's gone one for two from the three-point line. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Now here's Jones. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Pass to Poole. Back to Gafford. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Herb Jones picks one up. Man, good whistle there. down the first one. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis, but in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Both free throws good from Gafford. Ingram with the ball. Last game with 30. Outside Jones. Back to Ingram. Valanchuna sets a screen. Shot clock at five. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Like the way that Valanchuna worked his way to the line on that shot. Never let the defender get comfortable. Drops a first. I love the toughness from Jonas Valanciunas, and he is lighting it up tonight. He 
He makes one or two that time. Grant, you grew up here in Washington, D.C. What's the hoop scene like here? Well, B.A., they love the game of basketball here. And the fans are unbelievable. So many stars from here, like Kevin Durant. So D.C. is kind of a sneaky, underrated basketball city. And the bucket is good. Textbook pick and roll right there. Jones is solid at navigating these sets. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Outside Ingram. And the call will be against Kyle Kuzma. That's his first foul. Jones against McCullum. To the wing on the left. Alan Tunis with a screen on pool. Pocket two. A nice shot by Hawkins. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Jones taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Gafford finds pool. From the top of the key. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Dialing it in from range on the road is never easy to do, but they pulled it off and played a great game. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. Kuzma up top. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pool outside. Gafford the screen. Oh, from deep. Tries again, and he sinks the layup. Gafford's got six points. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's McCollum. 17 points for him, last game against the Kings in Sacramento. And his shot blocking helped as well. Those two blocks he had were big for them. Here's McCollum. Valanchuna sets a screen. And McCollum, good for three. McCollum's gotten his second bucket of the game. You simply can't let CJ find looks. He wants at the arc. His range, it's too good. Smitty, what impresses you about CJ McCollum's game as a ball handler? B.A., well, he's a terrific passer, but also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. Now here's Ingram. No points yet. McCollum finds Ingram. Here's Hawkins. The three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Pass to Poole. Now here's Gafford. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Orlando. He owned the glass in that one, too. No one could put a body on him. Now here's Jones. Blocked by Valanchunas. You see the length of Valanchunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. And the Pelicans also making a change. Daniels is checked in. And Ingram has got the ball here for the Pelicans. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. And somewhat surprisingly, the club split their two meetings last year. So you know that every game these two teams play will be an exciting one. Now here's Valanchunas. This one for three. Brandon Ingram. That one's good. What a pass from Williamson. I like seeing him involve his teammates like this. Pool up top. From deep three-point land. Rebounded by New Orleans. Ingram with a deep three. No good on the buzzer beater. And that does it for the first quarter. The Pelicans on top. They're up by four. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this.
event for those of you just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. And when it comes to defining rivalry, Smitty, you think both sides have to win big, or is mutual dislike enough? You know, I think B.A. winning really brings the rivalry out. And I think it has to go back-to-back -back, uh, years. Also, a little bad blood doesn't hurt a rivalry when both teams just don't like each other. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. We've got Trey Murphy. Najee Marshall is out there with Cody Zeller. Then there's C.J. McCollum. And it's Hawkins in at the two. Here's Marshall from behind the arc. Hawkins can't get it to go. Here's Kuzma. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Kuzma's got his second basket on the night. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shamit doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. McCullum outside. Three-pointer. Counted from distance. McCollum's got eight. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Muscala screen on McCollum. Pass to Muscala. And here is Kuzma. Muscala down low. Defended by Zeller. And there it is for him. Kuzma's got six in the quarter. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. What I like about Murphy, he generates offense in a number of ways. And he makes a first. Trey Murphy the third could probably knock him down from the line with his eyes closed. So for the Wizards, Avdia comes in for Kispert. And it's Jones in for Shamit. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Pass to Avdia. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul of the game. New Orleans on D. It's a three-point game. Back to Kuzma. Clock at six. All about length for Murphy on the defensive end, using his over seven-foot wingspan to stay on you. Pass to Ingram. Over Avdia. And it's Ingram with the basket on the assist by McCullum. Ingram's got five points. I'm not sure if he was trying to show off or what, but when you're that open, you got to go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Brian, the Wizards are building. Coach Wes Unsell Jr. said the biggest triumph isn't found in win-loss record. It's knowing that we're growing in the right direction, finding joy and purpose in what we do. He said you can feel the collective spirit. You can see our connectivity, which means we're on the right track. That's something we can be proud of. All right, Allie, thanks. And the Wizards making a change here. Gafford's checked in. McCullum looks around. Pass to Zeller. Down low. Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. Steps back and shoots. Avdia. Good. And it's a tie ball game. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. And here's Zeller. No points so far. 
Here's McCollum. Another shot. And it's Zeller laying it in. And the Pelicans lead by two. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Pass to Gafford. Kuzma outside. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Refusing to be deterred. I love how locked in Kuzma is on offense. Poole, he's checked in for Washington. Williamson's checked in for the Pelicans. Daniels comes in for McCullum. Free throw off from Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is trying to be more of a team player. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he's starting to accept his role. Now here's Ingram. He's got five. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford with a screen on Ingram. Here's Jones on the money from 12 feet away. Jones has gotten his first points of the night. And you know, in this quarter, they've really brought up their shooting percentage. Pass to Ingram. Over Avdia. The shot by Ingram, no good. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Poole up top, defended by Jones. Poole, the pass to Avdia. Gafford, the screen. From the elbow, drained it for two points. And now it's a four-point Washington lead. I'll tell you what, they are on fire this quarter, taking total command of this game. There's a screen. Ingram on the wing. A guy this team turns too often, averaging almost 24 a game. Count it, good. A high-usage guy. Ingram always takes a lot of High percentage shots. Now here's Jones. Into the lane. To the middle. And stolen by Williamson. Out to the wing. Wide open look. Avdia pulls it in. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Now here's Jones. Pass to Gafford. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. So we'll see Zion Williamson go to the line here. That'll belong to Kyle Kuzma. drops so now they lead by one man Zion Williamson is different a big man who possesses incredible explosiveness and power Gafford the screen pull for three look at Poole showing the range these teams have really gone back and forth <laughs> yeah five minutes good and it's Did he do that? counts at the buzzer oh what a miraculous shot He's going to remember that one. I didn't think that shot had any chance of going in. Just shows you that anything can happen in this game. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. The Pelicans on top. They're up by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for joining us. Brandon Ingram has been lighting it up. Quite the performance in the first half. And a bit of a gear switch here.
Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand at a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. Getting back to the New Orleans Pelicans, what a tight first half. He's been good, but their defense, man, you got to look at their intensity and their disruption. And if that continues, he'll just keep running over them. The only way to stop him when he's on a roll, force the ball out of his hands. Deny, bring two, whatever you got to do. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. Boy, without question, Brandon Ingram displaying his skills today. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. At the two and the three, Avdia and Poole. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. And it's Jones in at the one. So that's who Wes Hunsell Jr. starts the second half with. Here's Avdia. Pass to Kuzma. The three is up. He can't hit that time. Here's McCullum. Now Valanchunas. Here's Ingram. That one rolls around and rims out. Poole with the ball. He's picked up by Jones. Now Kuzma. Poole with the ball. Six points for him. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Herb Jones picks one up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. And the first one at the line is good. It's both from the strike. About a minute played here in the second half. And out of bounds, the Wizards will take it. And we got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Jonas Valanciunas. It's not a great trend for him. Not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. Maybe it's his effort, or who knows, but that's something that needs to change. Now here's Jones. They set the pick. Here's Kuzma. The Pelicans pull it in. Ingram's got his fourth rebound in this one. If you look at Ingram, it seems like he only gets better with age, Smitty. Yeah, you're so right. There is a case to be made that since he won the Most Improved Player Award in 2020, he's only continued to improve. His game gets more well-rounded every season. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Six to shoot. Here's Jones and Gafford with the block. They retain possession. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Washington. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Gets the three ball to go. Kuzma's got 11 points. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Valanchuna sets a screen. Ingram finds Jones. Williamson outside. 
Six on the shot clock. For three. That one doesn't drop. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. Jones drives in. Softly drops in the floater. And it's a four-point Washington lead. Wow. Tyus Jones blows by the defender, not allowing himself to be stopped. Back to McCollum. Uses the glass on the layup. Ten points for him. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Washington calls timeout. Not everyone is going to score 20 points a game. And Herb Jones has embraced his role on the defensive side, Smitty. B.A., some call him the straight jacket because what he does on the defensive end, he's tall and lanky, and he's not easy to shake off. And defense is all about will and desire. Here are the NBA leaders in steals so far. You take a look at Jones, fifth in the NBA, a pest on defense. His defensive focus has been superb these last few games, continuously finding ways to strip ball handlers and upset the offense. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. The kick out to Poole. Pass to Gafford. Outside Jones. Just five on the clock. Here's Kuzma. Buckets. He's now six of ten from the field. Kyle Kuzma is a natural scorer. His offensive improvements are paying off. Now here's Valanchunas. Right side Ingram. Williamson outside. Outside Jones. Valanchuna sets a screen. Jones drives in. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. CJ McCollum sometimes gets overlooked, but he said, quote, I just do my job. It's about team success. I'm going to be more efficient and more consistent. I'm going to make plays, make shots, and try to help us win. Brian? He's a great team leader, has a great perspective on his place in the game. Thanks, Allie. Gafford, the screen. Here's Poole. Shoots from the right block. The Pelicans pull it in. It's stolen by Poole. 157 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Pass to Abdia. Here's Poole. Hey, right here. Just five to shoot. Jones finds Poole. Hits a three-pointer. Poole's got five points now in the quarter. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Williamson with it. McCullum outside. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. McCullum's got 13 now. I love the response from McCullum. Outstanding at coming right back at you with a triple. Here's Jones. Hook it off the crossover. And the Wizards lead by six. 
That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Valanchuna sets a screen. Over to the left wing. Pass to Hawkins. Jones against McCullum. Valanchunas with a screen on Jones. Ooh, costly foul there. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. Such a pure score. The defense getting too aggressive on C.J. McCullum. the first of three led the league in percentage from the line a few years ago CJ McCollum dialed in and he's good on the second He nails the third. 40 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Shamit. McCullum defends. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. New Orleans has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. McCullum outside. Ooh, here's Zeller. Slams it home. Working the pick and roll so cleanly. CJ knows how to generate shots out there. Now here's Kuzma. 13 points in the game. Pass to Shamit. Over McCollum. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. We're at the end of the third quarter and we've still got a close one. It's the Wizards leading by a point. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. So the Pelicans five right now. Jones is the two with Ingram at small forward. Cody Zeller is out there with Trey Murphy. And it's Daniels in at the point. Now here's Zeller. To take the lead. That shot, no good. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. And here's Muscala. Pass to Shamit. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Daniels. New Orleans has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. And they take the lead. And the Pelicans lead by two. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. The direction this game is headed is going to come down to a couple key buckets by either team. And it's Koulibaly missing. 
and the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. The Wizards shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Sharrett passes to Muscala. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. On the wing, Kuzma. Clock at six. Rebounded by New Orleans. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. Outside Jones. Fires from deep. The rebound by Muscala. The Wizards have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Pass to Koulibaly. And here's Kispert from the arc. Sinks it from distance. Kispert's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. To the inside. And that one's good. Ingram. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Now a timeout called by Washington. The Pelicans making a switch here. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Wes Unsell Jr. was discussing with his players. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard, and we will win this game. And Allie, thanks. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Gafford. Kuzma outside. Releases. Oh, right between the eyes. All net that time. With a smooth, effective jump shot, Kuzma does a tremendous job in helping his team space the floor. And here's Ingram. The putback. It's good on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. Poole, a screen on McCullum. Here's Jones. Here's Poole. Jones with the block. Jones is an energy guy. He can give them a spark at either end. Right side Ingram. Jones against Jones. Five on the clock. Offensive rebound. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Kuzma, that's good. They need one, so Kuzma steps up. They're lucky to have a player like Kuz. Now here's Ingram, tightly guarded from the high post. And perfection right through the net. Ingram's got four points this quarter. Hey, this is what you want out of your max guys. Ingram stepping up. In the moment. Williamson against Kuzma. Back to Jones. 
Inside, and stolen by Williamson. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. And McCollum slams it in. This is why C.J. McCollum is seen as a leader, drilling a big shot. Cool against Jones. Outside Jones. Pass to Kuzma. Gafford to screen. To the middle. Stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Jones. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Williamson's got his fourth assist with that last one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for New Orleans. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. And following that, the number of second chance buckets they've tallied has been superb. Showing no mercy in hitting the offensive glass. Just two to shoot. Here's Kuzma. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. McCollum outside. McCollum draws the double to the left wing. Valanciunas down low. Kuzma on him. Offensive rebound. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Love the aggression that Valanciunas showed there. He welcomed the contact inside to get to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first. And that stretches their lead to eight. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a nine-point game here. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Kuzma outside. Gafford with a screen on Williamson. Kuzma. The kick out to Poole. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Drills it from deep. And the Pelicans with possession here. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. A high second-round pick. Herb Jones has done a nice job turning himself into a rotational piece. And so he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Washington. They're trailing by eight. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? They just haven't put it all together tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time.
Kuzma for three. The shot, no good. McCollum against Jones. Here's Williamson. And so the Pelicans take the win. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. CJ, there are always doubters about this team's capability to win at the highest levels. How much fuel do you take from that? Honestly, I got enough motivation. I got it out the mud. I went to Lehigh University. You know what I'm saying? No one's ever been drafted from there before. So for me, it's just about showing what I can do every night and keeping the door open for the next mid-major. I love that you never lost that underdog mentality. Thanks, CJ. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, C.J. McCollum.